Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, this is Salt, and this is the first three boats that you can get relatively easily just by gathering things. So we'll start out with the first one, which of course is the Raft. Very simple, very basic as always, you hit that, your sail pops, and you steer it with that. And with any of the boats, I recommend that the first piece of ironite that you get, you make, or I think it's two pieces actually, you make one of these little doohickeys right here. Because you just basically, it only costs you one log and one piece of flint versus three logs and two pieces of flint to make a fire, um, fire logs that you put on land anywhere. So, it saves you time, gather, and saves your, of course, your supplies. So, we've got, like I said, our Tom Sawyer, first basic raft here. Now let's hop on off. Do a little swimming. Thank goodness so far they don't have anything in the water that eats you. Alrighty, and this is the next boat. Is this one. Now this, and let's pull up our crafting thing here. Where is it? Yeah. So the sailboat, this is your sailboat. Seven hardwood, four cloth, and of course seven logs, two cloth to make our raft there. Same kind of thing, except now you get this little fun thing to work with. Instead of the rudder and back, of course you want to put that in there. And on this one, I suggest putting a um, torch holder. And I think that costs a ironite. So three ironite, ironite, or, and you're good. And then if you kill a pirate cartographer, I think, you can get this cool sail that you can put on either this whoops or you can put on that it'll let you put the, the sail on either one so oh cool we ran right into this thing run right on there we go so there you go folks there are the first two types of boats and then hold on one second I'm going to show you how to get the third boat and what you need to fix it so you have yourself a full golly a pirate ship of your own because you know all of us need our own pirate ships and it makes a big difference in spotting islands when you're 15 to 20 feet above deck versus at sea level which is what these two are so hold on and I will be bringing up the pirate boat, which is the first one that you can get next. And one more thing before we go, you do want to keep your eyes open for the pardon pusher. That, let's see, where is it? Yeah, blueprints for the pardon pusher. This is the one I haven't found yet because I have not found the last of the pirates uh, captains. You see we've got helm, hull, and rudder materials, but I'm looking for the sail materials. And like I said, I haven't come across the last pirate, so this is the hardest ship so far to make in the game, and I haven't been able to do it, and I've got like 30 some odd hours in here, and I've been killing pirates left and right man but you actually have to kill one of the pirates captains that actually has a name there's like bug eye and all kinds of uh, different pirate names so you have to find them and then hope they drop the appropriate materials so that one I'm still working on that one's a hard one and I'll probably make a video all about that by itself if and when I find it but I wanted to give you guys these first three ones because these are the ones that you're going to use the most to get yourself into the game. So as always, hold on one second. We'll be right back with our big old pirate ship.
Alrighty, ladies and gents, this is the third ship that you can get your hands on relatively easy in the game. This is the pirate ship, abandoned pirate ship. Over there is a fully decked out one I have. This is what it looks like when you first get it. Now, the only major difference is there is a chest back here. Make sure you open the chest before you work on the ship because the chest does disappear. I've already gotten this one. So, we'll go around here. We'll go up here. And this is the boat. Now you come over here, hit this, and it's going to tell you it's going to take 40 wood, 10 hardwood, 8 cloth, 10 plant fibers. And that will give you the ability to put the steering wheel on here and have a mast with a sail. Now, over there, that's slowly getting away from us. That, my friends, is the ship that I have that's decked out that has pretty much everything. So, hello. All right. So this bad boy, we start, of course, we're first with what you ha should have on all your ships, which, of course, is our little fireplace thing. We've got three boxes on this side, three boxes on this side. And this is just basically surplus, as you can see. Weapons. Lots and lots of weapons. Some books. More weapons. Oh, that one's empty. And then... This is the pride and joy. We've got the metal chests, wooden chests. So I suppose those are civil chests and regular chests. We've got three different cool paintings. We've got our bed. We can rest at it any time. We don't need a fire at all, which is totally cool. So let's start here. And we've got a to torch holder. And more of the storage crates. I think, speaking of which, had a couple more to throw in there. All right. This bad boy has got a shit ton of supplies in it. So, we've got, of course, our pirate tunic, pirate pants, ironite greaves, ironite breastplate. And we've got Bottomester Plants. And now the set bonus means sprinting uses less stamina. We've got Commander's Trousers. Armor once worn by a pirate commander. Agile boots. Very light and bouncy. They make it easier to jog. Dodge. Not really. Than just regular pirate booties. And then sometimes erupts in flames when you are hit a relic from strange long times long past. From strange times long past. Oh, God, I can't talk tonight. Fiery red cape. I have never yet had that burst of the flames on me. And we got our turtle, turtle she shell helm. A helm crafted from the shell of a sea turtle. More, uh, we got more bottom rest of pants. Skipper's gloves, rare gloves that increases your speed while sailing. And then more, of course. Oh, and then we have some ancient greaves here. And you'll pick a lot of them up, you know, as you start hitting uh, islands and stuff. You know, there's only so many things they have so far in the game. Okay, so in our next chest is all the rings that I've come across so far. So we've got Commander's Ring, a ring once worn by a pirate commander. Topaz Ring, 100 max food. Diamond ring, combat, stamina, regenerate. And I've actually got two more rings to show you. One of them is this one, and it's the ruby ring. And uh, it's very easy to make. And it's got nine max health. That's one. And then, oh, where is it? Ah, I just found this one. Ring of the day, a mysterious and ancient ring. I have no idea what it does. Looks like it's doing something. I don't know. 
Better eat something though, huh? Oh, oh shit! Okay. go. So let's put that on, see what it does. I have no idea. You know, maybe it makes me glue. Of course, we've had, I just found this, a finely crafted pirate hat that provides shave five max combo stamina. In other words, this one obviously goes with the rest of the pirate stuff that you can wear. And you can see I got a bunch of different junk in here. Food, that's what I was thinking of. Do, do, do. There we go. All right. And then we have a whole bunch of more weapons here. We've got the hardwood short, hardwood short bow, ancient bow, pirate axe, strong pirate axe, hefty pirate axe. Short sword, which is the one that you can make, which is, eh, it's okay. Dagger. It's got a one crit multiplier. It's actually better than the short sword. Of course, we have our regular blunt club. And then you have your scimitar. Ancient ceremonial dagger. And then, do, do, do. Where is my... There we go. Here's the Moon Rock Sword, which is the sword I've been talking about. You guys are one of the first things you want to make. Easy sword to make. You just have to find the Moonstone, which comes out at nights. Be ready to fight spiders. Oop, and here's one more ring. Old World Ring. So there you go, folks. There's an in general of the three types of boats that you can get. Uh oh. I don't know, that ring of the day sure doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah. Ah, and then my ceremonial mace of the ancients. That's... That's a beast. Best weapon in the game so far. 25 blunt. Uh, primary, 50 blunt, secondary. On block, 27 physical. So far, it pretty much kicks the level and crap out of everything. So, as you can see here, we can move our thing back and forth. As with the other two boats, all you have to do is hit this. And you can see it comes down. So, there we go. As always, folks, I want to thank you guys so much for continuing to support me so I continue to make these guides. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are the three boats that you can get relatively easy just through gathering supplies and looking around and as always i'd like to thank you guys for watching and again thank you so much for the continued support all the likes all the favorites i do appreciate it and as always i'll see you next time if the gods don't get me first or the wife <laughs>